we started first with a stream of light. The ability to turn on and off light beams and to be able to digitize the information as pulses that we transmit over glass. Back then, I don't think anyone could have predicted the kind of uh, growth. The speeds we were dealing with were in the megabit per second range. We decided to split that light stream into multiple colors and carry information on each of the colors. We call that wave division multiplexing. With coherent uh, solutions, we started using other characteristics of light, for example, polarization or phase. The speeds that we're dealing with today are, are in the multiple hundred gigabit. In fact, Bell Labs has already demonstrated a petabit capability, really breaking the limits of physics by doing spatial division multiplexing. But one thing we realized a few years ago, that it's not going to be enough to just increase the capacity. But there was a new requirement emerging in the way networks needed to be built. There was a need to have programmability, dynamism in the network to meet the emerging demand. It's possible to utilize a bandwidth, uh, which, is, which is not utilized today in a, in a more flexible and a more automatic way. With the PSC2, we've delivered just that. To the best of our knowledge, uh, this is uh, the most uh, complex uh, signal processing engine for optical transmission. This integrates roughly 1.3 to 1.4 billion transistors on a, on a single chip. It can support up to 500 gigabit per second uh, data. The Photonic Service Engine 2 can be tailored, whether you're shooting you know, across the street, across town, across the country, or even under the ocean. This chip uh, offers seven modulation formats, and that gives a very fine granularity in between reach versus uh, capacity. This is the world's first ASIC that is truly programmable. You can take it and apply it to many different situations, not just for the stuff that we can envision today, but also we've planned for the software-defined networking future, and it won't skip a beat. That investment protection for us is critical. This ASIC is going to be the heart of the network for not just today, but the future. We really felt like pioneers, so to speak, uh, coming out with uh, something new nobody else could offer. We don't know where it's going to end up. So the possibilities are limitless. We just have to make sure we're creating the right platform for that innovation to happen. We were the first to market with it, which means we really understand how to do this stuff. As long as our customers keep demanding that we make the kind of breakthroughs that the PSC2 is going to provide, we're just going to keep doing it.